we are going to use these summation properties right here to find this sum. Now the first thing that we want to do is we want to rewrite this sum. Our index of summation is j, and we're summing from j equals 1 to 26. We're going to split that sum up into the j squared and the 7j, and you'll notice that we can pull a constant out of a summation. Now, according to these formulas over here, what is the sum of j squared from 1 to 26? Well, it's this one right here using n equals 26. So the sum is just going to be n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. That whole thing divided by 6. If we simplify this and plug it into our calculator, that is going to add up to this first sum right here. Now, as far as the second sum goes, we have this 7 outside. And what is the sum of j from j equals 1 to 26? Well, it's this one right here, using n equals 26 again. This formula tells us that the sum is going to add up to 26 times 26 plus 1 divided by 2. Now we can simplify this, of course. I just simplified all of the numerators here. Now I'm going to whip out a calculator. This first sum turns into 6201, and the second sum turns into 2457, which adds up to 8658. Okay, that does it for that one.